Hi, welcome to Love a Latte. What can I? Oh, hey, Caramel Latte Guy. <laughs> it's good to see you. You haven't been around in a while. I was starting to wonder if everything was okay. Well, yeah. I mean, you're kind of a regular here. And then I got to talk with you at the party and all of that, and, um... Well, I guess, um... Never mind. It isn't important. Can I make you a caramel latte? Hmm? Oh, actually, yes. We decided November 1st was the time to start adding holiday drinks. So we do actually have the gingerbread latte. We still have all the fall flavors as well, but we just couldn't wait until December 1st this year to start adding more. So you're going to break away from the caramel latte to try a gingerbread latte? Really? Oh, that's amazing. I swear you won't be disappointed. It'll just take a minute. Here you go. Oh, no, no, on the house today. Trying something brand new should be a no risk experience. This way, if you hate it, I can make you a caramel latte instead and you can pay for that and we'll pretend none of this happened. So go ahead, give it a try. What do you think? You like it? Oh, I'm so glad. I thought you would, but I don't really know you well enough to know your tastes for sure. Kind of relief to know I wasn't way off base or anything. Hmm? That noise? Oh, <laughs> Raven's in the back fighting with the oven. No, really. Almost literally fighting with it. It's a bit of a beast. It came with the place, and it seems to have also come with an attitude. She can generally wrangle it into a better mood. It just takes a little time. So are you coming from work? I realized after the party that I really monopolized the conversation, and I didn't get to know much about you at all. <laughs> I suppose that's true. You did say you wanted to hear about me. But I'd really like to hear about you, too. So, are you coming from work? No? Just out and felt like a drink. Oh, I gotcha. It's a day off, but you work overnights and don't want to mess up your schedule. So I guess this is kind of like your morning coffee. Me? Shift work here. No real schedule. Oh, I don't mind, actually. With just Raven and I here, we sort everything out together. We make the schedule every week, so we're both happy with it. It's actually pretty nice. <laughs> this particular shift? Well, this particular shift is over in about five minutes, actually. Oh, you don't have to walk me home. No, I know. I did tell you about the person that was following me that night. But it's not dark yet. There will still be plenty of people around. Oh, no, no. It's not that I don't want you to. I just... I don't want you to think you have to, because I'd be just fine, really. Well, if you really want to, then yes, I'd love it if you walked me home. Just let me go tell Raven that I'm getting ready to leave. I'll be back in just a second. Ha! <laughs> 
I am ready. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Raven was using some pretty interesting curses on the oven. She said she's worn out the normal swear words and is making up her own now. It was pretty funny. It's a nice evening, isn't it? I really love this time of year. Especially when it's really windy like this. I'm not sure. I've always really loved windy days. They just kind of make you feel extra alive. You can't help but smile while it tries to push you around. So, where do you work? Nearby? Hmm, I haven't heard of that place. Oh, it's in the next town over. Well, that would be why. Do you like working there? Well, that's good. I always feel for people who go to work hating it, but they have to do it, you know? So many people live like that, and it just seems unfair. Actually, yes, that's pretty much why I just work in the coffee shop. I really enjoy it, and even though it doesn't pay tons, it's enough to take care of rent and bills, and some extras every month. I don't live a super luxurious life. I don't want a super luxurious life, really. I don't need a ton of money. You feel the same way? Hmm. We have more in common than just caramel lattes, then. Hmm? Oh. What I was going to say before? about seeing you at the party and then not seeing you in the shop for a while. I just... <sighs> I was kind of worried that maybe you left from the party after I told you everything about the wolf and you ended up thinking I was crazy after all. I thought maybe you weren't going to come back again so you didn't have to see me. Well, I'm glad that isn't true. I was pretty relieved to see you walk in today. Hey, um, can I ask you about that pendant you're wearing? You play with it a lot. I noticed it at the party, and you've been fiddling with it a bunch again. Is it something special? A talisman. So, kind of like a good luck charm, but more important than that, right? Something with significance. For protection. I like that. It's really pretty. What is it made of? Black tourmaline. I've never heard of that. It's amazingly dark. It's the kind of black that seems to steal light from around it. It's so nice, and I really like the meaning behind it. I've always wanted to have something like that. Something more than a good luck charm. Something significant. Like a talisman, I guess. I just never knew what to call it. Well, this is my building. Thank you so much for walking me home. 
You really didn't have to. But it was so nice to have the company. And the company was so nice. Oh, you're welcome. I'm really glad you liked the latte. This way you can have some variation until the holidays are done. I hope to see you again soon, too. Come back to the cafe whenever you have time. Bye, then. Have a good night. What a nice guy. <sighs> he sure doesn't like to talk about himself much, though. In some people, that would be kind of a warning sign. But with him, it really just seems introverted. Careful more than anything else. And there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm, what am I going to do for dinner tonight? <gasps> what was that? A, a dog? Maybe at the door? But no one in the building has a dog. It sounds kind of like... <gasps> oh my gosh. It couldn't be, could it? No one. Not even... A door close or footsteps. Just... No one. But I was sure I... Heard... Something. I'm sure I did. What's this? There's something on the ground. Black tourmaline. This is the pendant he had on. But why would it be here? He didn't follow me inside and... I could have sworn... No, more than that. I know that was the wolf. I know it was. What does this mean? Find qualified candidates who are you and invite them to apply.